People think they know who you are. They've seen you on TV, Celebrity Big Brother, they've heard you on the radio, but they don't know everything about you, do they? Amazing a number of people who can either love you or hate you that have never met you. Yes. We'll be talking about the other side mm. of us. If you ask me my proudest moment so far, it would be my US Senate appearance. It yes. brought another blast of publicity this week because it was the 14th anniversary. But if you knew what went before and what went immediately after that, yeah. set, you'd be amazed. Well, I'm going to be probing into your past. I want to know how they found your name uh, in a cupboard, in an office, so in I. the middle of Baghdad. You still want to know where it came from. Ruin. In a smoking ruin. Oh, look, here's a piece of paper that's got George Galloway's name on it. Absolutely fascinating stuff. I have no such secrets, of course, because I've led what could only be described as a blameless, practically spotless existence as an individual, both of Fleet Street fame, uh, of radio infamy, uh, and of course, traveling around America as a journalist, age 23, where I had everything at my disposal that I could ever want. Private jets, private chauffeur-driven cars, nights in hotels in Beverly Hills, chasing George Michael down Hollywood Boulevard. We'll talk about all of that. I had lunch with Warren Beatty. Did you? And Annette Benning in their house. I loved in her. Beverly Hills. I played snooker with Sean Penn in an Irish bar in San Francisco. Fantastic. And he drove me down to Warren Beatty, who lived next door to Jack Nicholson. I better not tell any more because <laughs> these are great stories that you're going to hear on the 22nd of June here at the Comedy Store. Don't miss it.